Hello and welcome to Mrs. Green Thumb. This is vlog, what did I put, 17. And uh, like I said, I'm doing a daily vlog on my Monarch Butterfly. No major changes right now, but um, I just want to say that we're down to 17 days. So I think maybe next Friday, I'm not sure. I can't predict that, but uh, it is pretty cool. It's like getting a deeper green a little bit. And um, I have things to do, so I'm here to kind of put my vlog now because I, I think it'll be by the time I get back, it'll be too late to do it. So I just came on early to do my vlog. If people can't come to it, that's fine. Just rewatch it if you want to. Um, acknowledge it. Watch it if you want. Leave me a comment. What do you think? Um, it's exciting. It's getting down to the wire. Seriously, that is what. Sunday, so we're talking about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, five days. Now, if all goes well, it could be before, it could be after, but, and I read it was between 11 and 15 days, and so far, every time, it's been 11 days for me, last three years, so this could take place. Hey, my backyard silence, good morning to you. Um, I was just talking and leaving notes for people to come if they don't come. Um, that's okay. You can always rewatch my live stream and find out where the butterfly is, it says three, four people, zero thumbs up. Thank you. Um, so anyways, what um, I was getting on that um, if all goes well, this might be hashed by next Friday, but it could be later because um, I know that my things for the lot, doing it for three years in a row, it worked out to be 11 days after it crystallizes. So that's Friday. But reading others, it says between 11 and 15 days. So we'll find out. We find out um, when, if it's the 11th day, 11 to 15 days. So how are you? And um, how are you doing, my backyard science? Everything well with you? Hope uh, I haven't seen you, so I hope everything's well with you and your family and everybody. Thanks for the thumbs up. Me too. Looking forward to the new butter monarch. Her name's going to be Claire or his name. Um, and just because you haven't been here, uh, scratching with Cardi. Hello, good morning. Oh, hi, Chris. Oh, that's a different name you went under. Hi, Chris. How are you, doll? Uh, yeah, I'm back again to do my vlog. I, the redneck, I come back for doing a vlog on my butterfly. Uh, it's, it lasts between 15 minutes to an hour, and I do it every single day until the butterfly is born. Um, that doesn't, it's not, it's a separate thing that I do in the morning live stream. I do a morning live stream, and this is totally separate where I talk mostly about the monarch butterfly there, Redneck. Um, and I've been raising them for three years, and this is the one I had I had to go out of town to try to get in the county to try to get one so I could actually do this live stream. But I'm still going to look for more after this to see if I can raise as many as I can and get the awareness out is what I do. Um so that's why I'm back again. I always come back. I always do this daily vlog. I've said it every day. And I've said it. This is, I'm on day 17. So I took that little tiny thing. If you go to day one of the vlog, you'll see how small it was, how by feeding it and how it grows. And then it goes into a chrysalis, And then it has to stay in there while it's a metamorphosis. So it takes about 11 to 15 days. And for me, it's normally been 11 days the last two years. And so I want to see if 11 days, that would come to next Friday. So I'm hoping that, uh, well, if not, if it's not ready on next Friday, it's okay. Whenever it's ready to come out and it's named after my mom, Claire, um, that's what I'm going to say. Um, I just want it to be safe and it's in a room and it's doing good in my room. Take care of it. Yeah, not much to do. Once it goes to a chrysalis, there's not much to do. Just keep it safe in a container. And let it do its thing. Um, as long as it doesn't fall from the top. And if it falls from the top, then you're going to have to take a pin, like a, a clip, and then pin it to the top. But I'm not bumping it or causing it any movement, so it's doing fine. Um, thank you, Scotty. I appreciate you coming back. It is a wonderful thing, and I think that's what I want to show. That, you know what? It's not all about us. Sometimes, sometimes when you're feeling low or whatever it is, 
sometimes go out in nature, go for a walk and see the beauty of what God created for us all. And, and it changes your life. It's just, it's not all about you. People think it's about you. It's about gaining numbers on videos. And it's about, and, and sometimes I do that and I'm wrong. Sometimes it's about how big your channel can grow. It's not, it's not about that. It's about sharing things and knowledge that were given to us by God and showing the nature and beauty of things. And we're not aware and opening up. Come on, it's time to open up and, and see this stuff. It's, it is, it's the awakening is happening now. And I want you to wake up and see the things and creatures that God created that are beautiful. And one of them is a monarch butterfly and how we're making it. We can minimize it and get rid of it. Like I was saying, uh, uh, one of live streams in one bad weather condition killed over 500 million monarch butterflies. Um, I don't think people, people think there's lots because they see them in their area. That doesn't mean that's a lot and all the whole population in North America, you know, so. I know it. I've been researching and doing a study on it. That's true. I like how that's that's worded very well. Very true there, Scotty. When we neglect nature, we neglect ourselves. Absolutely, we're part of nature. And sometimes nature needs our help and you're not really listening. Sometimes you got to be involved and get involved with nature to help it out. This is a species, a monarch butterfly, which I have said over and over for the last three years. It's, deteriorate, it's deteriorating. It's going down in population. This could this could go away from us. We would never see it again. Uh, it is. It's, it's almost on the endangered species. And um, wake up, people. Come on. I mean, this is sad that we we go into the things that are, are all gossip and drama and all this stuff, and we're not waking up ourselves to something that's so more special than that, about knocking somebody and all this drama and all this stuff. And I have very little people watching the good stuff and the stuff to educate you on and very little coming here and going to other channels that are just ridiculously stuff and silly stuff. And it's okay to be silly. Like I'm not talking about not passing on laughter and all that. There's so many other things that are really good for you. But neglecting the stuff that's right around you and going to stuff that's so negative, it's going to come out. You're going to see that... Maybe you need to shine a light on God and Jesus and all this stuff is going to come. You'll see it. And then you're going to be, it might be too late if you don't turn now and protect the environment, protect, treat each other right and correctly and treat each other. I'm just saying, and children are so a big part of this to protect the children. And I've said this for five years. There's so many things out there and it's so bigger than YouTube. And it's, it is, there's so much stuff out there, way bigger than YouTube way way bigger and i'm not going to worry about numbers i might say it every so often but i'm not going to worry anymore i've tired of worrying about numbers i'm just want to get the word out and i'm supposed to on this beautiful glorious happy sunday so uh, most nights i get to watch bats um uh, fluttering past my second floor kitchen window it costs nothing but it's priceless to me thanks guy that's beautiful it is. It's, I'm telling you, when I feel so low or feel, you go outside, and I told you, like, if you go back to some of the live streams, um, I did a live stream on a, a Blue Jay that came into my life. It only came in for the day, for eight hours. It was there for a reason. It's teaching us something, you know? Sometimes nature needs your help. You have to intervene and help that, that out. And if you don't, and you just ignore everything and not open up, it's your loss what you're, you're missing out on you know it's not always about me 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 and people it's about way more it's about being good to each other it's about looking out for kids who become adults and teach them in the right way so that they become great fantastic adults i i, I said that you know it's amazing that i said it over two years ago that what i believed in was we set we raise kids you know if you raise them in the right way and look out for them protect them and raise them the kindness to animals uh, and kindness to each other will make such a big difference when it comes to the future and as an adult, how you treat yourself, others, and animals. I mean, it starts out with a child. And, um, you know, I think things were went off a set a wrong direction, and now it's coming to light that we need to go back to that. We need to, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm getting – it's Sunday, and I'm very – I, uh, my strongest days are of religion is on Sunday. 
but I really do preach it. And um, I'm not trying to scare people away because I used to think if I don't talk about it, it's there. And I want to show you how my faith is, but I don't want to scare people away on it. But you shouldn't anyways. I, I'm tired. I'm letting loose of how I am as a human being and and believing in God and believing in nature and all this stuff connects to each other. And it will. The upcoming months, I think you're going to see some major changes in what I have to say is going to come to light on you guys. You know, just remember the statements I'm saying, because all this stuff is going to come to light within so many months. It will. And we need to protect, like I said, we, there's so many things, but let me go back to focusing on the monarch butterfly. Like I said, if you do not look out for it, if, if we, we as individuals don't plant milkweed or anything like that, it, it, it'll, you, you won't, it won't exist anymore. It'll be gone. You caught me again, my darling Susan. Yes, you did. I I had to come back. Um, I was afraid to. Um, I'm going out to my daughters and stuff like that. And I was afraid this vlog would be too long. And I'm not going to give up. I'm doing a vlog every day, whether I do it at 6 in the morning, 5 in the morning, or late at night is 12 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I got to get my vlog out. And so... I thought there was a chance I might come back home too late. And if I do, I can't get the vlog out. So um, I'm doing it now. Um, I like to be organized and get it out. So, And like I said, if people want to re-listen, it's there to, to listen to it. It's there to listen to my words, what I have to get, get personally to say. Um, if you don't agree with things, that's okay, too. You're allowed to not agree with everything. But, um, oh, yeah. And, and thank you for promoting that because... I, you know, I have butterflies in my head. I'm telling you that I must, I'm strongly on this kick. So I've been given this opportunity to get it out. And I think I'm supposed to. That's all I keep on saying. Things are sent to you. If you open up your mind, you'll realize why they're sent. And right now I'm out to uh, my issues with butterflies and I'm supposed to promote the butterflies and I'm supposed to get it out. I've been doing that for three years now um, and I will do it for others. I will do it for other butterflies. So anybody listening to me now, and I know there's only five of you, uh, Susan posted a link on Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be doing a vlog on butterflies all over the world, not just the monarch butterfly, and making you aware what butterflies are in your area. I definitely am on a mission, Backyard Science. I think you're going to have to pay attention to pay attention to the stuff that's out there now. People are not... There's an awakening happening, and I want you guys to wake up to it. Uh, wake up and really pay attention to the news nowadays. Pay attention to what's going on and pay attention to what we need to look for um, uh, to keep this. Put a smile on your face to keep it positive and know that God and Jesus and, and the religious side of this, you really need to show spiritual guidance to that side because I'm on team God and not the other side. And so this really does... I think why I'm bringing it all up is it really does interact with each other. I'm just telling you all this stuff. We all connect with nature. We all connect with human beings. We connect with everything and people don't see that. And, and you're going to start seeing it. You are going to see how truly important we all are to each other. Um, looking out for children to raising the crop correctly, to bring them, them up to make sure that we don't. Um, show children how to raise monarch butterflies and you're not going to have them be an extinct thing because we're, we're showing what God created was a beautiful creature and he's, this is supposed to be on earth. It's not supposed to disappear from our lives. And I am on a mission. You are right, Backyard Science. I can't help it. I am doing the preaching today um, and maybe I should have started that a long time ago. I, I But today for sure. You know, that's what I'm going to say. I don't know how much more to put it out there, but I will put it out there until I'm blue in the face of what my my mission is and what I've been told to do. And spiritually, I'm here for this. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to look out for this. I've been for five years, been on YouTube, five, six years, and it's just coming to light even more and more. Um, thank you. I really appreciate that. I need to push this out. And, it's, it, and that's all I'm going to say. I just I don't care if people are coming to my live stream. Because uh, people are cheating and kind of not cheating, but they're peeping in onto my stuff. They watch it later, and that's okay because I'm good at letting people just take their time to breathe it in and, and just watch what I have to say. You will see it. You will see it in the news. You're going to see it. 
I think I'm supposed to be here preaching about this stuff. And I just want you to know that we're going to change. We're all going to be awakening. And in the next few days, you're going to see things on the news that you're not going to like. And don't get scared because it's you got to wake up. You guys are not waking up. I didn't wake up. I started waking up maybe six months ago to things that are going to be profound in your life. But don't get nervous. Don't get scared. Stick together. We're good people, and good people will stick together. Um, I, and I'm preaching that. So, uh, yes, bring back the old days when I was a kid. We did these things in school. I learned a lot about these subjects. And, Susan, they were around. We learned a lot about things that were existing. If it wasn't for us learning how things function and all working together and taking care of each other as human beings or creatures that God created, it's going to be extinct. We'll all be extinct. And that's, I don't think that's what people want happening. It kind of scares me, honestly. Um, but I'm going to be, you're not supposed to be scared. You're supposed to be, you're supposed to awaken, take it all in slowly and be good to each other, love one another and put a smile on somebody else's face. Even when you have a hard day, you're supposed to pass the smile on your face to somebody else, seriously. And by doing that, I can't tell you how many times the live streams I come on and, and Susan, you're a witness to that. I come on to a live stream and there's days where I never felt like coming on at all. I was so tired and I'm tired of YouTube and I'm tired of this. Like we all sound. And then you come on and say, you know what? I'm so glad that I saw Susan today. I'm so glad backyard. My backyard science is out here. Um, and I get to see her again. I don't get to see her always because she's busy, but um, I'm so happy to see all you guys that it switches my it switches how I feel in such a positive way that now I can share positivity the rest of the day to others, including myself. So it's just it just works that way. And I hope I hope I can make a difference in all your lives. I hope that you can take all the information that I teach you on a daily basis every day, not just do with the butterfly, but everything and pass it on. And, and you know, that's what I want to say. Pass it on. Um, too much stuff is negative stuff. Too much stuff is wrong on here, on, on the internet, on TV, and it's not in the right path. And we people have to stick together um, to show who's the right one. Team God is the right one, and that's what I'm trying to, to really promote. And I will be. Um, yes, will be every day and from now on and the rest of my life I'm going to do this. So however long or short it is, I'm here. I mean, I used to be uncomfortable about talking about this stuff. I would talk lowly about Sundays and stuff like that, and I would get it out. And then I'm thinking, well, people are going to be afraid of me. They're not going to come because I'm talking religious, and that's scary to people. And, and it was scary to me. And now it's like, no, have faith, God. God, Jesus, all this stuff, throw it out there. And awesome people to each other. Absolutely. Yes, Scotty. Hallelujah. Like I'm, I, I wasn't a religious channel because I was too afraid that my channel wouldn't build because of people being scared of it. But I don't care anymore. If I have six people that are awesome people, I have said that. And if I have three people and I have 10 or whatever the number may be, if we are all good people looking out for each other and I'm teaching you stuff that the good Lord has made me talent to have. It's not about me. It's not about how talented I am. Not at all. It's not about how I look because that's what I don't show you my face. It's about God gave us talents and there's a reason we need to get them out now and show them. And it's some of it. You could be a nurse, a doctor. Uh, you could save lives. It's not about money. Um, you know, I was caught in that part of being about money and it's really not about money because if it was about money, um, I think the, this is so discouraging and I would have been off a year a long time ago if it was about money. Seriously, I wouldn't be doing this. Something drives me full force to come back and talk about it and build something, a community, and build it better and better and better um, no matter how hard I have to work at it. If I got to be on a, a live streaming 24 hours a day to get a point across, then I'll do that. And boy, is it tiring. And I'm exhausted. And sometimes I don't want to come on because I'm so tired. But something pulls me back to say, snap these people, wake them up, and tell them what's going on in the world because you guys are all asleep and you're not waking up. And um, I'm supposed to do this. I don't, it's been, you know, I think um, one of my friends, I owe it a lot to, to Mike. Just Mike is an awesome man. 
And I didn't realize how awesome he was until I really paid attention to him. I think he's a very smart man and he's not here right now, but I want to tell you, he's the one that kind of put me on the track of awakening up six, five, six months ago. And uh, now I, I hope I'm on the right path. I pray to God I'm preaching like I'm supposed to of the things that are important in life. And, and there's so many things. And what scares me, you guys are going to get scared a little bit of the stuff you're going to hear on the news and everything, but just stick together and fight through it and know God and Jesus is on your side and I'm on your side and look out for kids. I have started to say this over four or five months ago. Uh, there's things that are going to occur and you're going to, Oh, I'm going to do that. Interesting. Interesting. Show my face, didn't I? Am I gone? Oh my god! Oh wait a minute. Good afternoon. I just showed my face. <laughs> I they kicked me off. I thought I was kicked off, guys. I'm sorry. Now you got to see my beautiful face with my hair not comb. Um, I don't care. I am what I am. Susan, are you still there? It showed me that I was kicked off the air. It showed that it went off the air. Ah, uh, too funny. I know. It's look at my face. I'm like not even dressed. And I'm ready to get dressed and go take a shower. And it's like, ta da! Oh, you have hair. <laughs> I scared the heck out of you. Look at my face. Oh my god, you guys are funny. Well, anyways, you know what I look like. I didn't comb my hair. I'm not even dressed. Surprise! Somebody's fooling around with me today. I think it's hilarious. Um. Well, now I, I, I hopefully I didn't frighten you guys. Boo! <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I don't even care. I'm not even leaving it off. I'm leaving it on. I'm not closing this off. I don't care what I look like. I never did. I care what about the word, and that's why I'm not saying it. I yeah. It did. No, it went off, and then I went. I was gonna shut it down and come back and go. What the heck happened? The whole thing shut off, and it kind of frightened me. Going, why did that? Why did that shut off? And I was going to come back and say hello to you guys. Well, I certainly did. Boo. There I am in my my face, my beautiful uncombed hair. I do have long hair. It's not combed. I think it can look a little better, but you know what? It's it's the way I am. It's not about my looks at all. It never has been. Um, <laughs> I, I, no, didn't go off here. It went off for me. Yeah, no. So, no, still here. I thought it went off, but you guys are hilarious. So, anyways, there's my boo. I look beautiful for you guys. Hello. That's so funny. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself because I don't care. Uh, yeah, I look terrible though, but it's, it's like, you know what? It's not all about looks. Look at how I am. I, I didn't comb my hair, I didn't take a shower, I didn't get dressed yet. Um, I think it's so funny. I hope you still love me, but it's not about my looks, is it? It's about uh, educating people on the butterfly. On, on I'm, I'm afraid to touch it because I got beeped off, but darn gone it. I'm going to say it again. Things are going to change, and God will prevail, and so will Jesus and all that stuff. Hallelujah, guys, on this happy Sunday. I thought for sure I disappeared from the subject I was talking about. I probably was. I think they kicked me off for a couple minutes. And then they wanted me to scare you with how beautiful I look today. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I don't care. You guys get anybody. I, I'm not even closing this live stream off. I really don't care what I look like. I've stressed that so much since I've been on. I look terrible <laughs> I didn't even go in my hair today, but I've said that so many times that I don't care. It's not about looks. It's about getting the word off and something good and spiritual and looking out for the monarch butterfly. 
that's what it's about. So I, I don't care if, if uh, I cared. Well, it, it was, I, I would say I call myself. You're so vain. You probably think the song is about you. So I guess that shows you that I'm not really vain. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> ah, this is so funny. I did this once before. Um, what is <laughs> well, anyway, you guys don't ever get scared. You know what I look like. And um, I, I can only go uphill is all I'm going to say. I'm not, I'm not upset. Carly, Carly Simon. I'm not really upset with what I look like or not at this moment. I just went, normally that's not how I want to show you my face, but I really don't want to show my face at all. So there you go. I am so down to earth that I showed you something that was really like, I didn't want to, but I had to do it anyway. So it is. Um, and after I get off of here, I'm going to go get dressed and changed and everything because I'm heading out the door. So I think in about four minutes, I'll probably get out there. And Susan, I know you guys love me for who I am and thank you. That's what I love about you guys. You don't care what I look like. You care for me as a person and what I do. That's what matters to me, guys. Hallelujah. That's what matters. Um, no more do I have to hide what I look like because there I am. Ta-da. I even need, even need a hair job, but still I don't care. Uh, so... I like Scotty says you haven't screwed. <laughs> you haven't crashed YouTube yet. I just love that. That's hilarious. Um, and welcome Studio B. I'm sorry. I want to make sure that I uh, thank you for coming. This is so funny. I love you all guys. They're hilarious. I love you. Um, I didn't frighten you too much. So I give you all that back. Big love. Thank you so much that I didn't scare you too much. It's not how it looks. It's how it is. Yeah. It's not how it looks. Yeah, it, it's about the facts. And I, and, um, I don't know. I guess, I hope you guys, are, I have a sense of humor, see, too. I have to laugh at myself. You got to laugh at yourself sometimes. If you don't, that's not good either. So, um, yeah, that's what I want to say. Hey, coin girl. Hi, darling. Hello. So it's all about, uh, you know, oh, actually, that's another thing I want to say. It's about loving yourself. Thanks for the thumbs up part. Uh, Susan, it's about loving yourself. It's not about whether you think I'm beautiful or not. Um, it's about, do I love myself and am I happy the way I am right now? You're darn right I am. Uh, I didn't comb my hair and I don't care. I'm down to earth here and this is what I am. I always don't want to totally get dressed up all the time. I do get dressed up, but it's not me. Me is combing my hair uh, and, you know, looking decent, I guess, and clean and that's about it. You know, nothing overly special. I never said I was gorgeous ever, and it's not about that. So, anyways, um, it's, it's, I, I'm so honored to have all you guys. I've been watching your playlist. I know you're pretty and awesome. Oh, coin girl, you're so cute. But uh, I have been watching your playlist. I know you're pretty and awesome. Well, I'll take, I don't know about pretty, but I'll take myself, and I'll love myself no matter how much weight I need to lose What? because I didn't comb my hair. Um, I'm beginning to think that uh, that's what you got to do. No matter what you look like, you got to love yourself. Um, and I was listening to that. I thought it was such good advice. Um, whether somebody, if you're looking at what somebody looks like, that's my whole point to my channels have been all along. I don't show my face because it's not about what you look like. It's about how you are and how the good person you are. And it'll always be that for me. Whether you saw me all dolled up with makeup and my hair done, I would still be that same individual that cares about, I don't care what I look like. I care about loving myself and to love yourself, which I did it for the longest time. I didn't really love myself. Uh, okay. Bye David. No problem. honey. So it's about loving yourself. And, and then when you love yourself, you're okay with what everybody else thinks, you know, when you guys accepted me, um, that's what it is. So I don't, here, whatever I dressed up, makeup here. I still I'm casual. I like it. I, that's me, and and I like the way I am. And so if I can show you that it's okay to be that side of yourself, um, then I think it's a good thing. You know, love thyself, and then you will love everybody else, and everybody will shine and see that. Um. 
But but anyways, it's been awesome. I'm gonna have to kick my butt and get off soon. I I just had a good laugh at myself, and that was it's been fabulous. You guys are fantastic. Oh, you will not. It, you will not crack people. Did I just do that? It's it's not about what you look like. Anyways, that's what I keep saying to you. Um, if I doll myself up, I'd be okay. I'm a decent looking person, but um, that's it's not about that. Um, and God love you, MG, my Christian sister or mom. You can either one, David, I can be whatever you want me to be, but it's all good, doll. Thank you. I think on that note, um, I will see it. You know what? I'm probably going to come tonight, Susan. Like if you're not doing anything, and you, and, um, I'll probably tonight. Cause I want to discuss more before I get kicked off of, of, uh, YouTube for the, my personal opinions, what I think of things. All our screens are fine. That's good. See? So your screen would be fine, too, if you came live. But it, I don't need to see a person live. I need to see their inner spirit. That's better to me. So when you see, start to know somebody from uh, talking to them and you don't physically see somebody and you fall in love with the inside of them, then that only makes your outside shine even more. That's what I'm going to say. You guys are adorable I for putting up with me, not getting scared. I love you all. Um, and, uh, happy Sunday to you all. Happy blessed Sunday to you guys. Uh, and for those of you who know me, I'll, I'll probably be doing something tonight, but, uh, until then I got a few things. You'll see it tomorrow morning. I vlog every day and I come on tomorrow, Tuesday night. I have a special thing on butterflies. Check it out. It's going to be fun. Um, so thank you guys for joining me and I'm out of here. I got to go do some stuff. So blessed, happy all of that love to you, love and light to you guys on this beautiful Sunday. Take care and I'll see you soon.